Please, all I ask is a moment of your time. I apologize if I've been unclear or otherwise confused you with my words. It was never my intention to mislead. So let me try to clarify. Get the hell off my land. We all know Achilles Davenport, mentor of the Colonial Brotherhood featured in Assassin's Creed 3 and Rogue, either as an idiot mentor or the angry old man with a wonky leg and a discouraging demeanour. We know about his actions during the events of these two games, but what about his early life? In this video, we're going to dive into the earlier key events in Achilles' life to better understand how he came to be who we know as the Colonial Brotherhood's mentor. Achilles was born around the year 1710 in the Caribbean. The events of his childhood are unknown. He was recruited into the Brotherhood in the mid-1730s and trained by Atabai as his last student. We all know Atabai as the mentor of the West Indies Brotherhood, a figure that we know well thanks to his significance in Black Flag. Rona Dinsmore described Achilles as a serious child, a trait that we know stuck with him for his entire life. During this time, Achilles met Adewale, who he came to respect and aspire to be. In the year 1740, Atabai decided to send Achilles to the American colonies in order to establish a brotherhood branch in North America. Though when Achilles arrived in the colonies, he discovered that he was not the first assassin to arrive there, meeting John de la Tour, who was there on business for the French Assassin Council. Achilles and John worked together to create a brotherhood with the intent of preventing any disturbances in the colonies. Achilles, knowing the Templars would certainly wish to expand to the continent sooner or later, if an opportunity presented itself. Despite this functional partnership, Achilles did not hold De La Torre in a high esteem, believing he was too arrogant. In the year 1743, Achilles inducted Liam O'Brien into the Brotherhood. With Liam's aid, Achilles gained valuable allies among colonists across the frontier, as well as allies within the French and Spanish empires, including, of course, this twat, Chevalier de la Verandrie, who first aided Achilles and Liam in 1744. In 1744, Achilles and John de la Tour travelled to Quebec to find Matthieu Levy, a slave who they suspected to possess valuable information about the first civilization. However, they learned that Levy had died from an illness a year prior upon arrival, but also discovered that the government had arranged a marriage between Matthieu and Angelique Denise. The ceremony obviously never took place because Levy was dead as a fucking dodo, but she was then put up for slave auction. De la Tour bought the rights to Angelique Denise from whom Achilles learned that Levy shared his precursor knowledge prior to his death, and that her chosen name was Abigail. In May of 1745, Achilles, Abigail and John went to Louisbourg in order to locate a safe house belonging to Nicholas Corr, a member of the cult of Hermes whom de la Tour believed possessed valuable information regarding the Yisu temples. In order to locate this safe house, Achilles and Abigail posed as slaves which provided them access to restricted areas in the city. The mission hit a snag, however, when British troops descended on Louisbourg. Achilles and John journeyed to the Louisbourg fortress where they attempted to get assistance from the French, but were declined, as the French were preoccupied with taking the territory through negotiation. Achilles and John helped prepare the fortress's defences for the incoming attack, while Abigail searched the remainder of Louisbourg for the safe house. Time ran out, however, as the British had arrived. Achilles was then presented with John de la Tour's robes and officially declared the mentor of the Colonial Brotherhood. Knowing the Templars would use this battle as an opportunity to pursue their own interests, de la Tour shook Achilles' hand and took off to fend against the invading troops sacrificing himself to give Achilles the time he needed to complete their initial mission. Achilles then reunited with Abigail, who had finally located the safe house they were after. They found no sign of Nicholas Corr, but they did find a note bearing the words, Seek out the Sky Woman. Though I'm not entirely sure what this means, I'd imagine it's something to do with Juno. Achilles and Abigail then travelled to New York, where they finally began to create the Colonial Brotherhood. By the latter months of 1745, Atabai had passed away after being sent one final message from Achilles. Thanking him for all the years of skill and knowledge Atabai had given him, Achilles promised to honour Atabai by completing the task he was given and establishing a functional colonial brotherhood. By 1746, Achilles formally became the mentor of the colonial brotherhood, as he had proven his skills as a recruiter and organiser. Under his leadership, the assassins built a homestead which was used as a base of operations. Additionally, Achilles maintained contact with numerous other assassin guilds worldwide, which he did while simultaneously strengthening relations with the Iroquois tribes, as well as a woman we know to be Connor's mother. I would say her name, 
but my attempt at pronunciation would not do it justice. Around this time, Achilles befriended the colonial activist Samuel Adams. Achilles eventually married Abigail, and together they had a son, Connor Davenport. Not to be confused with the protagonist of Assassin's Creed 3, that's a different kind of Connor. The colonial brotherhood prospered with the addition of prominent members such as that French twite who had strong ties to the French government, Kesega Wase and Hope Jensen. In 1747, Liam introduced Achilles to his friend, Shay Cormac, who had just lost his father to sea and was struggling to cope. Achilles allowed Shay to join the Brotherhood due to his knowledge as a seafarer, training him over the next four years. Little did he fucking know, am I right? Ah! In 1749, Achilles was informed by the French Council of the completion of a ship which was meant to serve as a foundation for the Assassin Navy. She was called the Aquila. In 1750, Achilles rescued Robert Faulkner, a veteran sailor, during his service as the Aquila's captain. Faulkner was grateful and offered his services in creating a shipping route connecting the colonial brotherhood with its European allies. And that more or less brings us right up to the events of Assassin's Creed Rogue, where, uh, fucking hell, if Achilles didn't just get fucked right in the <coughs> knee. But anyways, there we go. That's a video on Achilles' early life. Thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, share, comment. Let me know what you want in the next lore video down in the comments section. Be sure to go ahead and follow me on Twitter, I would really appreciate that. And I will see you all very soon with another video at some point.